milk, that sour. The tasteful three-piece bedroom sweet, figured walnut. That's right. Just the day after tomorrow, we'll be waking up in that. Herbert. Well, we're getting married, aren't we? I can't get over that man in the shop. Wasn't he nice? Fancy giving us that lovely fender, firearms and coal scuttle. I hope he doesn't get into trouble. What's the good of them? We've got gas fire. Tickets, please. What time do we get into Truro? You're due at half past ten. Change at Foul Vale Junction. Half past ten. Thank you. I said we should have caught that earlier train. That furniture chap would keep on talking. We shall cop it from her. Now then, my lad, this is a railway carriage, not a playground. Go on, love you. This is a non-smoker. Tickets, please. Oh, tickets. Again? I haven't seen your ticket yet, madam. Well, if you haven't, everyone else on your railway has. Hush, <laughs> Polly. I've had to show it at every station we've stopped at, all the way from London. I'm sorry, madam, but we have to keep a check on travellers nowadays. Oh, perhaps you think I'm a parachutist. Perhaps you'd like to look at those parcels, see if I've got a bicycle or machine gun. I only want to see your ticket, madam. Here's my ticket. And here's my identification card, and here's my ration book. And if you want my birth certificate, you'll have to ask Somerset House for it. Truro. Thank you, madam. Change at Foul Vale Junction. It's the next stop. You won't see the name on the station. Took a bit of a chance putting it on the ticket, didn't they? I've got a nerve dropping his hat out. <laughs> She's smiling. What? Eh? Uh, I mean the train. Uh, why did it stop? The old some fool's hat fell off. He pulled the cord. Oh, bless my soul. Mm. Good gracious. Here now, what's all the trouble? No trouble at all. I've got it now, thank you. Call the communication court and stop the train to get his hat. Did you get his name and address? That's what I'm trying to get. Now, sir. Oh, where are the... Come on out of that. Come on, come! Hello, he's still here. I was having a wash. His puff puff's filthy. No, sir. All right, I'll handle this. Thank you. Are you going to give me your name and address, or are you not? My name and address? Well, uh, actually, I'm travelling in Cobb. But that's me, Tommy Gander, comedian and entertainer. Now, what's the address? For the next 16 weeks, I'll be at the Pier Pavilion, New Quay. 16 weeks? Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll see how I go on Monday night. You know, this will mean a prosecution, a five-pound fine, sir. What for? I can't understand what all this fuss is about. You stopped the train. Well, it was only a little stop. Besides, nobody minded. Did anyone here mind me stopping the train for a few minutes? No. We'll try another one. Did anybody here... Uh, now, look here, you better get back to your compartment. This is my compartment. Thanks ever so for seeing me home. No, sir, if you wouldn't behave like this, I... You know, I don't think this was your carriage. Wasn't it? The trouble is, they all look so much alike. If one only had a different colour scheme in each compartment, one could tell which was one's own compartment. Uh, excuse me, is this gentleman annoying you? Who, me? I wasn't talking to you, little man. Anyway, this is a first-class carriage. Well, what about it? 
Well, I bet you've got a third class ticket. I have not. I've got a platform ticket. Is she a friend of yours? I never saw either of you before in my life. As I thought. You don't even know the lady. You force your way into her compartment and cause everyone a lot of annoyance. Now, run along to your old carriage before I call the guard. Here, let's be fair. After all, this isn't your carriage either. 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 Let's ask the lady. It's a good idea. Is it either or either? Neither. 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 What's this? Good afternoon. Who are these people? I have the slightest idea. Is your name Winthrop? Yes. R.G. Winthrop? Yes. In that case, this is your bag. Oh, and here's your coat, and here's your skull, and here's your book. Oh, we mustn't lose the place. There you are. What are you two playing at? One moment. Winthrop, R.G. Aren't you the all-rounder that played for the MCC? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I only need you to complete my set. Set? Yes, cigarette cards, 50 famous cricketers. What are you two doing in here? Well, he lost his hat. Oh, so you're the idiot who stopped the train. Yes, I don't know my own strength. My time happens to be valuable, even if yours isn't. Now, perhaps you'll be good enough to move out of here before I lose my temper. Oh, yes? One minute. If I remember rightly, you were a boxing blue as well. Yes, I was. You mean you used to fight and knock them on the... Oh, well, circumstances alter cases. <laughs> Goodbye, all. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'd better be getting our things together. We'll soon be at Thalvale. Oh, are you changing at Thalvale? So am I. Isn't that a coincidence? Are you going to New Key? No, we are not. Oh. Well, if you do, you must come and see me. I'm in the concert party there. My name's Tommy Gander. And if you give that to the manager, he'll give you a row of seats to yourself. Are you going to get out, or do I have to throw you out? Oh, Richard, is Leave it? this to me. Get out and stay out. I don't like strange men trying to scrape up an acquaintance with you. Oh, don't be silly, Richard. Sound like something out of East Lynn. Forgotten my hat. Cause of all the trouble. <clears throat> See you at Calvary. Oh, go away! I know, but I'll pass ten. What's she going to say to that, I'd like to know? I'll take the lady's bag. I go upstairs, we have to go. Can I take that one? I'll take it. Can I have the shelter connection? I'll tell the lady. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? Excuse me. When the connection arrives, it's sure to be crowded. 
Wouldn't it be a good idea if you were to come in my compartment, you and your brother? The lady and her brother are travelling first class. Besides, he doesn't like you. Oh, a lot of people don't like me at first, but you'd be surprised how I grow on one. Even your brother might learn to care. Yes, I'm sure he would. But he's not my brother. Oh. I know. He's your father. I say, are these fellas annoying you again? Good afternoon. Sorry, Dad. Cheek. Dad! Dad! Open this door at once! Oh, I'm locked in. Uh, uh, the, the door's further along, madam. Uh, that's just a window. <laughs> oh, thank you. So may I see you? Allow me, madam. Can I take your parcels? I'll take the Avery. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my gas mask. Thank you. I'm going to see my evacuated nieces, you know. Oh, nice. They're staying on one of those farms. I'm taking them butter and eggs from London in case they can't get them down there. Right, well, it's very nice. How long? Well, that's Polly's. Sauce. He won't mind, will she? Oh, hey, wait a minute. I've left my basket in the garden van. Hey, not my basket in the van. No, it doesn't. I threw it out on the platform. Threw it out? You'll be hearing from my solicitor. You'll be hearing from the company. I'll tell my mum of you. Gotcha. And gotcha. Dead and alive sort of homeless? Where is everybody? Hello! Hello? Hello? Sadie? All that? Anyone at home? There's no one around there. Someone. Ah, about time too. When does our connection for Truro come in? Come in? It'd be gone a quarter of an hour ago. Oh, blast, when's the next? There ain't no next. There's no more trains through here tonight. I'd be just going to lock up. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Potter, when does the Truro train come in? <laughs> in about nine hours, ma'am. What? I'm afraid our train was so late that the connection went without us. And do you know why it was so late? Our comic friend with his comic hat. Oh! Hey, you! What's his confounded name? Mr. Gander. Gander, come here. Most intelligent basket, that you know, it seems to know me. Whenever I go near it, it creaks. As you got us into this mess, perhaps you can think of some way of getting us out of it. Out of what? Owing to your idiocy with Mr. Connection. Yes, and what's more, there's no train for nine hours. Nine hours? That'll be tomorrow, won't it? I've got to rehearse at New Kid at half past ten. You should have thought of that before you stopped the train. Oh, I know. We'll charter a special. Special indeed. And who's going to pay for that? Well, they can take it out of the money I owe them. In for a fiver, in for a special. That's me. Excuse me, old man. You get no specials, you I could go up to four and six for a You mean one. to tell me we can't get to Truro tonight? Why? At least it's not my train. Doesn't bear thinking about, does it, Herbert? That's right. I suppose that applies to Red Roof too, eh? No more trains tonight, nowhere. Uh, but I'm expected at Red Roof. I promised Dr. Harrowby a... Well, of all the quaint places. Oh, hello. Where does that line the other side go to? It don't go nowhere. Oh, it don't go nowhere. He means it stays where it is. Ha, ha, ha! I haven't seen anything room. Hello. Oh, lovely. This is real concert party weather. This will send them in. Good gracious. He can't stand here and get soaked, eh? He could stand anywhere and get soaked. Pardon me. a little place, isn't it? Well, if this is the Cornish Riviera, give me Camberwell. It's just gloomy, isn't it?
so this is the Ritz Carlton. Oh, hello, me. There you are. What the devil are you doing? I was putting it on. Oh. Young man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Am I popular? Hello, Polly. Polly, will you talk to me? Polly. Polly, moi d'amour. No? Sketch a Paul. Baby Paul. There's a Polly. There's a lovely girl. Are you one of the parents of Wimpole Street? Oh, don't do that. Not with company about. There she is. There's the girl. I say, I wonder if I could teach you to talk. I wonder if you could say Heil Hitler. Eh? No, not with a beak like that. Don't listen to him, Polly. If you ladies and gentlemen be ready, I'd like to lock up now. Lock up? You're not going to turn us out in this. No, why should I catch old Monia? I've had pneumonia, you know. <laughs> that was witty. You can't stay here. No? Well, I'm going to surprise you for a start. We're all staying. The railway company's taken our money and it's got to play the game. Yes, even on a sticky wicket. But Richard, if there aren't any more trains... Then he'll have to get us a bus or something. That's right, give me a number six. I've got some friends who live in Hackney. All fares ready, no standing on top. Oh, shut up. I'm not travelling in any bus. I paid to go all the way by train. Besides, Polly hates the smell of petrol. Polly, Polly, don't you? Uh, there must be some way. Hmm? Uh, Dr. Harrowby of Red Roof's expecting me. I'm going there as his locum and he's leaving on holiday tonight. Yes, please, you must do something. We've got to get back tonight, haven't we, Herbert? That's right. For one thing, the ceremony is in the morning. Ceremony? Oh, you mean a family bereavement? Oh, no. Herbert means we're getting married. That's right. Oh, and cut yourself a piece of wedding cake. Isn't that marvellous? I must kiss the bride. Oh, wrong lady. <laughs> Excuse me. Speech, speech. Must have a speech. Oh, I hope you'll be very happy. So do I. You. Same here. First a girl and then a boy. I'll be quiet. But this isn't much of a place to spend your last bachelor hours. Oh, I don't know. I've slept in worse. You want to see my Anderson shelter? I think I'd better get down. Call me at 8 o'clock with a nice cup of tea. Shut up there, auntie. Good night, all. There'll be no sleep in here. The last train's gone and I gotta lock up. You can't stay here. I've had enough of this nonsense. The least you can do is to ring up a garage and get us some sort of a conveyance to the nearest village. And we are staying here until you do. Yes, uh, surely there must be a hostelry somewhere. He means a boozer. All right. I'll try. Ah. It won't be no good, I tell you. I'll come with you. Passengers must cross by the footbridge. You stay where you are. You're a menace, and the next time you drop your hat out of the window, I hope you forget to take it off. You will rue every word you've said. Unfrocked. La da di di, la da di di, la da di 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 di. Huh. I wonder if it stopped raining. I'll have a look. Whoa! What is it? My basket. Half with. Edna, you know what this means, don't you? We'll have to be together all night. Yes, Herbert. Before we're married, like. There is six other people with us, Herbert. She wouldn't believe it. Not if we said there were six to. Would she? No, Herbert. Edna, who's going to face her in the morning? You, Herbert. Why should I? After all, she's your mother. She'll be your mother too tomorrow night, Herbert. That's right. Hello. This is Saul Hodgkin up at station. I've got eight passengers here. Yes, they missed the Truro connection. I, I know, but what am I going to do with them? They want you to send the bus for them. Yes, but... Uh, hello. Well, uh, what's the verdict? Can we get a bus? I said it wouldn't be no good. But I'll tell you what. If you would all walk across the foul village, maybe they'd put you up at the pub. Mm. Splendid, eh? I always say there are worse places than pubs, eh? <laughs> Why didn't you tell us that before? <laughs> It's all right, people. I fixed everything. There's no bus, but if we walk down to Fowl Village, they'll wine us and dine us and put us to bed. Oh, good. Well, lovely. It's worth a dash through the rain for a night's rest. Just a minute. How far is this village? Oh, it's about, um... I don't know. How far is it? Oh, if you walk across the fields, 
It's only four short miles. Four short what? Four miles in this. I wouldn't dream of it. Polly in the middle of a mount? Surely there's some place nearer than Pal Village. That'd be the only place within ten mile of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Come on, give me a hand with it. I forgot all about my tisket the task. I do hope my trousseau's not ruined. Now, don't do that. You'll have puddles all over the floor. Well, I'm soaking wet. I've got to change. There's another thing you can't do. You can't change your. Well, that's a funny thing. The guard said we must all change your. Oh, uh, go and change at the ticket office. All right. Come on, you basket. Don't leave me alone. No peeping. Well, we've got to stay here all night, so we might as well make ourselves comfortable. Thank you. Don't you like that fire? Now listen, my good man, you've said your piece, so jump on your bicycle and pedal off. I got my orders and I got to obey them. You You're can't stay here. here. And uh, who's going to stop us? I be. What are you going to do? Throw us out? Well, I suppose I'll have to. In that case, you can start on me. And me. Now, don't you lay your hands on me. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen. I do wish you'd ash. Polly wants to go to bed. We are staying here whether you like it or not. Understand? I can't leave the station with you people, you Then you'll have to stay here with us. Oh, no, that I won't. Why, what's the matter with it, apart from everything? Anyone would think from the way you're going on, the place was haunted. It is haunted. Oh, my God. Oh. Herbert. My next, Napoleon. Haunted? What are you trying to do? Scare us out of here? It's beyond it, all right. You won't find any in these parts that would stay here. Especially tonight. Well, as we've decided to stay the night, you'd better let us know what to expect. There's no story for ladies, yes. Well, after that, we've got to hear it. Yeah, come on, spill it. We want something to entertain us. Entertain you? Powers above. Oh, come on, do tell us. Very well. I warned you, there ain't no pretty story. Maybe when you've heard it, you'll change your mind about staying. <coughs> Will you keep that confounded bird quiet? It was the time of the Diamond Jubilee, 43 years ago this very night. In them days, the station master here was a man by the name of Ted Holmes. You was asking about the old line that runs on the other side. You mean the one that don't go nowhere? Aye, but in them days, the trains used to run on it. Through yonder short tunnel down to the old port. The other side of the tunnel, the line bridges the river. If you swing bridge, walked by a lever wheel out there on the platform. This was the bridge. In 97, it was always left open for the clay boats to go out on the tide. And they closed it when the trains went across. But no train ever runs over that bridge now. And it hadn't been closed for 43 years. And the day I be telling you about, a party of some plants folk went to a bean feast up at Truro. And they chartered a special to take them home late that night. Ben Isaacs was the driver of that special. But Ted Holmes was kept on late duty here to close the bridge. He was a sick man, but no one knew it at the time. When they phoned through here from Truro, one in Ted to close it as the special were starting off. Ted answers as he'll go and shut the bridge that moment. But them were the last words he was ever heard to speak. Well, what happened? It was striking 11 o'clock when he lit his lamp and went out on the platform. He reached the bridge wheel and as he tried to turn it, come on him. Poor chap, something must have told him it was all up with him. But he gathered up his strength and struggled back towards the waiting room. His one thought was to get to that phone and stop the train from coming. But he never reached it. He falls down there, dead, with his lamp still burning in his hand. The special was dead on time. The signals were with it. And it would have come in along fast with the bridge wide open and Ted Holmes lying there dead. 
It seemed as though when he were just above the station, something warned Ben Isaacs the danger. But he claps on his brakes, and the train went a tearing through the station yard, with all the brakes on and the whistle screaming. It was no use. The train goes a thundering through the tunnel, straight through the open bridge, and into the river. Crash! It weren't no pretty story you was making me tell. Yes, but where does the haunting come in? Some nights the signal bell rings, and the train comes screaming and a tearing through the station with its whistle blowing. Probably a good train. I tell you, there weren't no trains run on these metals from ten at night till seven in the morning. Besides, whatever it is, it never starts from Truro, and it never runs into St. Bland's. If it be a natural thing, where do it come from? Where do it go? Have you ever seen it? I shouldn't be here if I had. They do say, as to look on the ghost train, to mean death. You can stop here if you like, but not me. I got a wife and children looking to me. Do you mean you're afraid? Afraid? I am afraid. I bear the shame to own it. Well, we're not. Very well. Seeing you've made up your mind to it. But if he do hear a train, for God's sake, don't he go running out to look at it? Good night to you all. Good night, old boy. Thanks for the bedtime story. Cheerful, bloke. Oh, I'm glad he's gone. My hands have all come out in a perspiration. Ghost train. <laughs> Never heard such nonsense in all my life. <coughs> that railway accident did take place, you know. Yes, possibly. But all that nonsense about the sight of the train having killed people. Surely, as a medical man, you don't believe that. Of course he doesn't. Young lady, I expect you think I'm just an old-fashioned GP. Nowadays, if these specialists don't understand something, they chatter about inhibitions and split personalities. I prefer the immortal William. There are more things in heaven and earth. <laughs> ah, he knew a thing or two, eh? You don't think there's anything in what he said, do you, Herbert? Of course not. All chains, come along, please. Any more for Dewsbury, Wednesbury, Thursbury, or Friday? Yeah. Who'll have a ticket for the ghost train? Guarantees haunted in every bogey. <laughs> Woo! Will you shut up? Shut up. Very good, sir. Pipe, please. This be a natural thing. Where do we come from? Where do we go? To think we've got to put up with that little squirt for the next eight hours. An alarming thought, eh? Do you play chess by any chance, Doctor? Chess? Uh, yes, yes, I have played. I'm afraid I'm a bit rusty now, though. Well, it's hardly my game, of course, but it helps to pass the time away. Yes. I have a set here. Splendid. moment, Gandit's at the rescue, he's a scream. Now, never mind about the ghost fair, what you want is a bit of music to cheer you up. And here's a little song I'm going to sing at New Key this summer, it'll paralyze them. Once at the seaside, feeling very reckless, I banged down Tuttons and I rode on the pier. Hadn't gone far when the strings of music wafted on the breeze and landed in my ear. I quickened up my steps, for I love nice noises. Very soon arrived, I 